Hey, 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 all of you beautiful souls. Today's video is on how do you tell your friends or your family about subliminals? And I've gotten asked this question actually a couple of times where I feel like it was good to make a video on it. And, you know, traditional affirmations have been around for a very long time, right? The I am more confident now. I am, you know managing my time better, right? This whole tattoo is, you know, based on the theme of time or time perception. And and we can make affirmations from, you know, everywhere from, you know, time and becoming a better tattoo artist because your subconscious mind in psychology, we understand, is formulated or created from your paradigms. And paradigms are the habitual set of habits that are formed in your subconscious mind. And they all go back to our childhood, right? It's why, you know, children and babies, their their subconscious mind is wide open. And it's so important that we address, you know, the subconscious minds of our children. You know, I had a person leave a comment and I just, I just uploaded it to the community as a post. You can go read it yourself. Where her kid was listening to the become a genius mathematician subliminal for a year now. And after listening to it for a year now, her kid is now being placed in advanced classes. And it's because of the beliefs, you know, from the, the subliminal and her subconscious mind adjusting accordingly that she was able to be placed in advanced classes. And, and, and this is how the subconscious mind works. And now what I'm getting at is there's a lot of science or psychology already behind this. So when you go and introduce the idea to subliminals, you know, you need to see it through your perspective. Like when you were just first starting, you know, to understand what subliminals were. And, you know, most people though, unfortunately, you know, maybe are brand new to, you know, the whole subconscious mind and paradigms. And you got to build up to, you know, traditional affirmations and tell them how affirmations work because everyone, you know, from Tony Robbins, to Napoleon Hill and some other really big names, you know, or just use yourself as an example, right? You know, and you can use traditional affirmations to build as a stepping stone to the subliminal, right? So then you, you start off with the traditional affirmations and then, then you start to go into, okay, well, we, we understand through physics that our body is just a molecular structure vibrating accordingly to our thoughts. Now, more accurately, you know, our sub, your subconscious mind's thoughts. So, so then you start to go into physical affirmations and you start to go into, you know, physical subliminals and you start to, you know, build into it using a lot of science and facts, right? And how this all works. Because unless if you're, you know, an alien living, you know, from outer space, you know, we all have a subconscious mind. And subliminals are going to work if, if, it's a legitimate subliminal creator. Now, unfortunately, you know, that removes about 90% of the subliminals, if not 95%. So this is how you tell your friends about subliminals, right? And unfortunately, you know, at the end of the day, it's really sad. It's really, really terribly sad that, you know, some people won't even give it a chance. And just Some people are just closed-minded, right? They just want to wake up and, I don't know, just go through the motions or a robotic life and don't ever discover themselves, let alone discover how the subconscious mind works and the creative mind, the spiritual mind works. And, and that's their decision. At the end of the day, you have your decisions and they have their decisions, right? But you can only introduce this, this brilliant thing called the subconscious mind, which is what controls or directs all of our realities, right? Each other's, you know, realities are affected by each other's subconscious minds. So there's the answer. You all have a beautiful day and... Let's get out there and live life.